When you share your presentations online, how would you like to know exactly who's viewed them, what their email address is, and which areas of that presentation they've spent the most time in? Well, now you can with Prezi Analytics. Let me show you how. From the info screen of your presentation, there is a button called Share View Link. We saw this earlier on in the training. If you click this button, you'll see the links that you will have generated in the past, and you can create new links as well. When you create a new link, one of the options that will be selected by default for those of you that have a premium Prezi license will be track this link on Prezi Analytics. You can also select the option just below that requires the viewer to enter their name and email address before they gain access to the presentation. So I'm gonna try that now. I'm gonna call this new link my analytics link. I'm going to press the create button and I'm gonna quickly copy that link and email it across to some of my colleagues. Back in the information screen, I'm gonna click on the button below that says take me there to the analytics. That will then take me into my web browser and show me all of the analytics links that I've set up in the past. The new link that I just sent out is this gray circle here, which I'm now going to click on. So what we can see now is people are already viewing the presentation. We've got Josh, Elisabetta and Luke who've all had to put their email addresses in to gain access. And I can see over here on the right the exact pages of the presentation that they've looked at and how much time they've spent on each of those. Now this is just a very quick example to give you an idea of the power of Prezi Analytics. If you can imagine that you were to send a link of your own presentation to one of your customers or a group of your customers, you would gain some really valuable insights as to what's important to those customers and how much time they're spending on each area. On the flip side of that, you'll also be able to figure out what isn't important to any of your customers and you can remove that content from your presentation. So all of this happens in real time and you can keep going back to this analytics link whenever you want to, to see if the data has changed. So hopefully you can see from that very quick example, the power that analytics can bring to you as a presenter, you as a salesperson or marketeer. And that brings us to the end of your Prezi Next training. Thank you very much for registering for the course. I hope you found it useful and you have access to this course for the next 12 months if you've just signed up. Please keep coming back and checking the course because as new features are released and improved, we will of course update the training to show you how the new features work and what the improvements are. And we're also going to have an area below this video which will have advanced tips. So please keep coming back and checking on those. For any help that you might need with Prezi design or presentation design in general, whether that's animated video or even PowerPoint design, please get in touch with us here at thepresenter.com on info at thepresenter.com. You can reach out to me personally on russell at thepresenter.com and I'll be really delighted to hear your feedback and see how you're getting on using Prezi Next. So thanks again and I'll see you soon.